Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here doing another P.O. Box Pickups video slash comic book haul video slash T-Blocks unbagging video. Uh, I have some announcements I want to talk about really quick before I show off the comics that I got today uh, from Ghost Side Comics. If you're on the coast and you want comics, you go to Ghost Side Comics, alright? Um, but uh, I will not be going to New York Comic Con. That's the first announcement I wanted to make. Unfortunately, uh, I cannot go. I, I will be going on a camping trip this weekend. And I was supposed to go to a wedding on Sunday, but because I smashed my van, I will not be able to drive. So, I, so the lovely Charlita One and I are going to hitch a ride up to Yosemite and, and that. So we're just going to go to the Yosemite thing. A very affordable trip, which I'm very happy about. A lot cheaper than going to New York Comic Con. And uh, there will be no internet. Um, there will be water. <laughs> so it's not like hardcore camping, you know. But it'll still be, you know, a good time to get away. Uh, the wife really, really wants to do this, and she not just wants it for her, but she wants me to just get away and just be out there. And I love nature hikes and stuff like that too. So it'll be a good time to just kind of, you know, just just recharge the batteries. I have a ton of comics over here that I will be reading on my trip, so I'm very stoked about that. I plan on doing some, you know, nice nature reading, you know, uh, just chilling in nature and reading comics. I like doing that. It's just very, very refreshing for the soul. I, I dig it a lot. So, um, so, so let's get to the comic book haul here. All uh, right. Oh my goodness. Okay. A ton of comics came out this week. This is a very, very big week for comics, especially for Marvel fans. Uh, DC uh, readers too, because there's just all kinds of relaunches and stuff like that going on over here. So, we'll see how I feel about this. Um, starting off, I have Amazing Spider-Man number one. This is the oversized issue. And I think it's still written by Slot. And I think Slot has been killing Spider-Man lately. I mean, just doing an amazing job. Uh, we have Avengers number zero right here. And I... So I wanted to figure out what's going on with this new lineup of Avengers. I want to read that. So I don't know if I'll stick to this book, but I had to pick up number zero. Batman and Robin Eternal had to get this. I love reading uh, Batman and Robin stuff, and it has uh, Scott Snyder's name on it. So, yep, that's a must. Uh, we have Batman Detective Comics. Tomasi, I really like Tomasi's writing, and I've been picking up Detective Comics consistently. My two Bat books, actually, I've been reading uh, the Batman title via trade. And then I've been reading Detective Comics consistently for a long time. And then I've also been reading Batman and Robin for a while. I think Tomasi was writing Batman and Robin, and that's why I moved over to Detective... And then he moved to Detective Comics, so that's why I moved to Detective Comics. But then uh, I think there's another writer for Batman and Robin that I really like, too. I'm getting all the Star Wars stuff except for Kanan, the last Padawan. Um... You know, I did buy season one of Star Wars Rebels on Blu-ray, and I have to say, I think it's a good show, but there are a lot of things that I really don't like about it. For instance, the animation. I don't like the animation. Everyone's always got to be moving. It's like never like just somebody just sitting there. Like in Avengers Age of Ultron, remember how Ultron was talking to, to the twins, and they're telling their story, and like Ultron's just like, just like listening and stuff like you can animate things just being still for a second they don't always have to be moving I can't stand that ah oh, kills me and 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 uh, what, what's like Ezra I think Ezra is the name of the wiener I can't stand too much of a wiener anyway uh, we get Darth Vader over here and I can't remember the name of this girl but this is like her uh, Vader's accomplice great read uh, Invincible Iron Man and it's written by Bendis now keep in mind I have not read any of these yet okay but yeah, I'm excited to read that one. Invincible Iron Man, Star Wars Shattered Empire, I picked up number one. I thought that was really good. Old Man Logan, also written by Bendis. I thought this was awesome. I love this read. I think Jay Lee's doing the artwork. No, it's not Jay Lee. It kind of reminds me of Jay Lee. And then Secret Wars number six, which is like way past due, man. I feel like we should have gotten this like a week or two ago, at least before these relaunches and stuff. So it's like... I have to bump this all the way up to the top of my list over here. I like to read things alphabetically. I'm very OCD with my comics. Got the bags and boards and all that. Now, because I'm such a freaking pervert, I had to buy this. Once in a while, I get comic books just for the cover. I have to. Sometimes I'm just like, I have to have that cover. And I had to get this one. Hey, <laughs> my girl, look at that Wonder Woman thickness. Right, let's take it out of the plastic sleeve so you don't see all those reflections. I mean, you just have to bathe in the glory. That is a hella fine Wonder Woman. Come on, man. Look at that. 
yeah, and drawn by a woman too. So I thought that's really cool. So uh, uh, yeah, so she know when the main like. And then over here we have Star Wars, and got that Star Wars just really really fun to read. And then we've got Star Wars Lando, which I'm really liking as well. And then this is actually one of the best books that's out there right now. I cannot believe it. I love Brian K. Vaughn's writing. You have to read We Stand on Guard. Not so much, I mean, it's very much a comic book, but definitely falls into the graphic novel realm a little bit more so. And then this one, oh my god, man. Woo! Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number 50. Yes. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number 50. I cannot wait to read this. The way this has been building up, Eastman's writing on this, it's just, I think, I don't know, man. I, I'm, I'm just so in love with this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles title. It's the most I've enjoyed Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in my adulthood. I mean, in my entire life, I love Ninja Turtles the most with the movie and the cartoon when I was a kid, but as an adult, it's like the level I love this comic is like right up to right up there with how much I love the movie and the TV show back in the day. Alright, so let's get reading to some letters and then I'm going to open up the T-Blocks, which I'm excited for. I really want to know what they have in this blind bag thing. Okay, so this right here is from... Uh, and... and... Angelo... Angelo? Angelo. Uh, from Chile. Oh, okay, cool. All the way from Chile. Alright. Um, if you don't know where Chile is, Chile is in South America and it's along the Pacific coast of the country. So it's that long, thin country that goes down the side. Learning with Shardimus Prime. Yeah. Taught you something, didn't I? Or maybe you already knew. Okay, and it's all in English. Cool. Alright, Spider-Man Reborn number... Oh, is this... Oh, is this a... Oh, okay, this is a whole treatment. Wow. Okay, I'm going to put this aside for now. I am not reading this whole thing in my P.O. Box pickup video, but I am. I will definitely read this. I'll put that with my comic books. Is there a letter in here, though? I think there's a letter in here. Yep, it goes, Yo, Shardimus, my name is Angelo De Bernardi. I am 30 years old and an English teacher. I'm a huge fan of your channel, especially when you review Marvel Legends. Toys are hella sick! Together with my brother Fabrizio and nephew Dante, we always watch your videos and enjoy the size comparisons and short stop motions, especially beating on big time let down Spidey. Spider-Man is my favorite hero and I'm glad to see Hasbro give the character justice in the Rhino Build-A-Figure. When we want to buy a figure, we take your reviews as reference and whether to buy a figure or not, most of the time we get them anyway, ha ha ha. And it's always good to have a figure of your favorite Marvel hero and put him in iconic poses. It's a lot of fun when you get the whole crew of Avengers and pose them around or make them fight the DC Classics Justice League. About the Justice League, which DC Collectibles Icons figure are you most excited for? Probably that Deluxe Green Lantern. That looks like the coolest Green Lantern figure made in the history of the universe. Um, second to that, Batman. And then after that, the Superman. The Superman looks really cool. Anyway, uh, 90s Superman, Treadmill Flash, Hush Batman, or Green Lantern? Yeah, Green Lantern, Batman, Superman, then Flash out of those four. Uh, my money is on Hal Jordan. Yep, his accessories look sick. Straight out of Jeff Johns' run. See, great minds. All right, uh, your videos have inspired me to do my own toy-related videos and reviews. I have a Facebook page called POS Customs in which I get a new figure, do an entire album based on the toy uh, together with a comic book as the background, and do the team-ups and verses. It's a lot of fun but time-consuming, so I get what you say when you talk about the hard part of reviewing toys. Here I'm sending you my Spider-Man trading card and a short story on a new Spider-Man origin plus art. Keep the channel going! P.S. What Marvel hero should Hasbro redo again? Mine is Captain Britain. Captain Britain? I really like my Captain Britain figure, man. I, I do. Um, but I think they will redo it anyway, probably using the Grim Reaper mold. Ooh, very nice Spidey card. I gotta put this by my desk. It's got that hologram look going. Dig that. Put that aside right now. And then we got the some art going on. Oh, really nice. Look at that. Oh, Spider-Man Reborn. So it goes with the story. So I'm going to read this story later on, and I'll talk about it in the next P.O. Box Pickup videos. Uh, Alright, let's move on to the next letter. And thank you so much, man. This is actually... I love hearing about people watching the videos together. Angelo. Very nice artwork, by the way, Angelo. I really dig that Spidey a lot. Alright, this one is from Ben from Fullerton. I've played Fullerton, California before. I've played Fullerton. Um, was that the one place? Like, it was like this place... Right by a train station, I think. 
think that's where it was. Anyway, uh, the letter says uh, September 17th. 2015. Dear Shortimus Prime, my name is Ben and I know it's only been a few months since I last sent you a letter, but I have a question that's been nagging at me for a while. Uh, I'm a big X-Men fan and I'm very troubled with how reluctant Marvel has been with letting toy companies make X-Men figures during the past year. When you asked the Marvel Hasbro team during this year's SEC if they were phasing out the X-Men from Marvel Legends, he answered no and pointed to the Magic figure, which made me think, great, the only Marvel Legends X-Men figure to be released this year is an SEC exclusive box set. And as I type this, the lowest buy it now price for Magic on eBay is 85 bucks plus shipping. Oh my god. Way to bring X-Men to the masses, Hasbro. Insert sarcasm here. Since some of the older X-Men Marvel Legends I don't own are either very expensive or need updating, part of me wants to turn to Marvel Select and older Marvel Universe figures, which are still reasonably priced on eBay. So my question is, as long as a longtime figure collector, would you suggest I just be patient and wait for new X-Men 6-inch uh, scale figures to be made, or should I give up and collect the Marvel Select and Marvel Universe versions of these characters? Sorry about the mini rant, and if you'd rather not receive letters like this in your P.O. box, that's fine, dude. Uh, just let me know in the video, I'll understand. Thanks again, Ben. Uh, no, good question, man. That's actually a very, very good question. That is, uh, okay. Depends on how much you like the character. I have, but Spider-Man's my favorite superhero, so I don't really care what scale I buy Spider-Man figures, and I'm happy with them, and I don't regret them. I still have my three three quarter inch figures over there, and I don't regret it. So if it's a magic, if magic is who you really like so much to the point where you want you want figure form magic no matter what, then I say yes because once you do get say they uh, you know say they release an X-Men line down the road and you get that magic figure and it's super accessible and you end up getting it then you're not going to be disappointed with the 3 3 quarter inch one that you already had cuz you enjoyed that figure and you may still enjoy that figure but if it's a figure if it's a character that you're not that stoked about I would hold off uh, really I, I mean really only make that move for the characters you really like the most I think and that way you'll enjoy the figure for what it's worth and everything. And this letter has Dookie on it. Oh, I got the poo poo on the letter. Uh, sealed in shit. I love this. This is awesome. Thank you so much, Alex. All right. I haven't even read the letter yet, but I love that it's been sealed in the Dookie. All right. So, on a shard of mist, I love poo. Poo is fun. It's good for me and it's good for you. Poo. All right. That was my poo song. And it says here, written in pencil. Let's try to avoid this in the future, guys, because pencil is hard to read. All right, uh, September 15th, 2015, dear Shardimus Prime. Uh, hi, my name is Alex, and I am in seventh grade. But before I say too, uh, uh, too much, I would like to apologize for the bad handwriting and spelling. I have been watching your channel for two years now and you are my favorite youtuber you are also very funny and I laugh and very hard and while watching the collector documentary part four that was my favorite out of the series it says sires here bro uh, here are a couple questions I would like to know uh, hey man very important man I'm not, like I'm not I'm not trying to single you out or anything man but you know you, you guys Learning how to write very well is a very important skill to have in the real world. That's another reason why I like having these peel box pickup videos, you know what I mean? Because really, if you can write well, you can communicate to other people, and communicating to people is very important. I would not be able to have this YouTube channel around as long as I have if I was not able to communicate well. Alright, anyway, uh, what is your favorite Spider-Man figure besides anyone that is a Peter Parker Spidey? Oh, oh, dude, the Scarlet Spider that just came out from the Rhino Wave. Absolutely love that figure. I, I really like that figure a lot. I actually have an extra one mint on card just because I want to look at it. I, I, I have it by my desk, and I just like looking at that one. I love that one. Um, one of my all-time favorite Spider-Man figures, yeah. Especially because my only problem with the Pizza Spidey is that torso was just way too long, and they shortened the torso on the Ben Riley figure, so I'm very happy about that. Well, that was only one question, not a couple. Um, oh, I forgot to say, I love the stop motions of the Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. Well, I'm going to... Man, your spelling sucks, dude. Yeah, man, what grade did you say you're in? Seventh grade, you gotta be better at spelling in seventh grade than this, bro, alright? Not trying to be mean, but 
I'm going to give you guys a hard time if your spelling's crap and you're in 7th grade. Uh, well, I'm going to go. I hope to write to you again soon. Oh, that's right. I forgot to ask you if uh, your signature costs money. Uh, many. Well, that's it. Uh, and keep up the awesome vids. Bye. P.S. I wanted to know if your signatures cost Manny because I was thinking of sending you a short art to sign. Uh, you know, I did send out a... Uh, and thank and you didn't write your name. Alex, thanks again very much, Alex. And thanks for the letter, man. I did enjoy the letter very much. I don't mean to be mean, but yeah, work on your spelling. Um, so the uh, the letter thing, I did send out the letter and the little figure out to Dre. So you should expect that. If you want us, if you want stuff signed, you gotta send an envelope with the stamp on it. And, uh, and and put your uh, address on there and everything for me. That that make it a little bit easier and stuff. But yeah, at least an envelope with a stamp on it, and then something for me to sign. And I'll and I'll put it back in the mailbox and send it out. So everything that you guys have sent so far that you wanted signed, I've sent back. All right. Uh, this one right here is from Jacob. And... All right. And go! Damn, this is a long ass letter. All right. Hey, let's keep it to one page. All right. Uh, hey, Shardimus. My name is Jacob. I'm 19 years old and I recently graduated from high school back in May. I have been watching your videos since at least 2009. I am, a, I am also a fan of Century Productions. I hate Century Productions. No, I love Century Productions. Uh, I've seen his videos first, but. Damn you, Sentry. Uh, but as time went on, I grew to enjoy your style of figure reviews more. Win. Okay, one of my favorite videos to watch was when you and Sentry took a tour of the room of Solid Snake in My Pants collection. Any nostalgia there? I remember that. Uh, there is for me anyway. I also have my own YouTube channel called Bloody Jacob. Instead of a Y, he has two E's. Bloody Jacob and Jacob with a C. And I also have you added on Facebook. Not sure if you remember my name or not. I do not. Uh, on my channel, I used to do figure reviews, but have moved toward movie and TV show reviews weekly. Some of my shows I focus on are Game of Thrones, The 100, Being Human, and Dexter. I'm also a huge fan of horror as well. Penny Dreadful might freak you out. I want to see Penny Dreadful, actually. Um, yeah, I really do want to see that show, especially because... Uh, because because my Eva Green, you know? I love my Eva Green. And could I get a quick and cheap plug shout out? Boom, there you go. Shout out. And here are my questions made. Uh, made sure you keep it to three. Uh, one, I remember you saying you watched Dexter. Did you ever finish it? No, I have tried at least like four times after I dropped the show and went back and tried to watch the episode. I just can't finish it. I don't know why. Um, I think it's because I feel like the characters haven't moved on. I don't know. Uh, if so, what did you think of the ending? I did not see it. It was... Okay, I don't want to read that. And two, I also love shows like The Vampire Diaries, and because of that I have to deal with a lot of mindless hate. I know you are, a, you are probably not a fan of it either. I'm not. Uh, but I think there are a lot of great things about it besides the stereotype that is sh slammed on it. I have grown to ignore it because of how much I like it. What do you say about the stereotype? Type that it is all about the teen romance when it isn't. I actually haven't watched the show yet, uh, so I can't dog it. I'm not slamming it, I'm just saying I'm not a fan. I haven't watched it. Uh, three, how great would it be if we got a Marvel Select blob? That would be freaking amazing. I love the Marvel Legends bath, but imagine how great, fat, ugly, and awesome looking a larger Select one would be. LOA, shart in the eye! Lame shart eye, sorry. I love the shart in the eye right there. Yeah, you got shart in the face, shart in the eye. Thank you so much, man. Right on. But yeah, let's try keeping these things to one page at a time. And because of that, Mando Commando's letter will have to wait till the next one. So that's what I'm saying, man. We gotta, we gotta, we, we can't be greedy with the time here on the P.O. Box pickup videos. You know what I'm saying? We, we gotta share, all right? Anyway, T Block's right over there. So that looks pretty cool. Let's see what we got in this bag. You know, to be honest with you guys, I don't remember giving him my address. Uh, this just showed up. I I've been so busy lately, especially you know working at Guitar Center and and posting six days a week. It has kept me very very busy. All right, so we get a T. All right, is this my size or no? It's kind of small for me. Maybe I gotta do some more jogging. But 
Decepticon t-shirt. Hell yeah. All right. That is cool as hell. Cannot go wrong with an with a Transformers t-shirt like that. That's cool. Shirt folding skills. Hell yeah. All right. And then we get a, there's a huge, oh wait, no, okay, this looks like a giant poster over here. And there are no clean getaways, no country for, Tommy Lee Jones, no country for old men movie poster. Oh, okay. Can't say I have much interest in this at the moment. I haven't seen the movie, so no country for old men. Um, yeah, giant movie poster of a movie I haven't seen. Yeah. <laughs> What does this have to do with superheroes? I have to find out. And then this right here is a comic from Image Comics, uh, Wetworks Power Source. All right, issue number twenty-nine. So it's a random issue over here. When was this published? Is this like from the nineties? I'm trying to look for a date here on this, but okay. So we get this comic, Wetworks. All righty. Okay. So far, I'm digging the shirt and just the shirt. And then, oh, okay, yeah, I did. S I'm trying to. All right, and then we get T Blocks sticker right there, and ooh, Batman sticker like that. I'll put that with the T-shirt, and then we get the Captain America sticker. Keeping that. Ooh, yes, Star Wars coffee. Nice. That is pretty brilliant. Brilliant. I like that. So I'll keep all of those, and then it says. I'm my hero. I will never wear this. I'm not going to wear that. I, No. I'm not wearing this. I'm my hero. There's some of these stuff that comes with these subscription boxes that I will, I should give away that some people may want. You know what I mean? So I'm going to make a pile right there and then and then do that. So yeah. But uh, thanks so much for T-Blocks. Um, I, I really like the shirt over anything else. Um, yeah, I, I don't know how much I could highly recommend this. Just the shirt and the stickers, I think, were pretty cool. Uh, the comic book and the poster, I'm like, what? All right. But anyway, I just got to be honest with you about that one. But very cool shirt. Thank you very much. And if you guys want to send your letters and artwork, please do so. Send to Shardmas Prime, P.O. Box 384, Pacifica, California, 94044. I will be posting reviews up throughout the rest of the week up until Saturday. I am hauling ass! editing videos, recording videos, and editing videos again so I can have things going up smoothly while I'm gone on this vacation because I will not really be able to relax on the trip if I don't feel like the videos are still going. I'm kind of crazy like that, I guess. I don't know. Alright, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.